If you will be changing a device or you want your files accessible through iCloud.com, you need to make sure that the files you want moved from one device to another or accessible online are saved to your iCloud account. Before checking your files and moving things to iCloud, we need to make sure that you're signed in correctly. You can do this by opening the Settings app, tapping on your name, and make sure at the top of the screen that it has your at Apple ID email address underneath your name. Then tap on Password and Security. It should prompt you to enter your password. Enter it now and tap OK. If the password's correct, it should sign you in. If you get an error message or an incorrect password, please see your teacher or media center to help you reset your password. Now that you know that you're signed in correctly, you can go to your Files app and make sure that iCloud Drive is one of your locations. If it's not, tap on the three dots, tap Edit Sidebar, and toggle on iCloud Drive. Now, for any of the content that you have saved in the On My iPad section, you'll want to move to iCloud Drive. If it's not in iCloud Drive, when you log in to a new device or to iCloud.com, you won't see any of this content. You can't move an entire folder at once, so you have to tap on the folder, and you can either use the Select option to select the files that you want, or you can tap Select All. Then you can tap Move at the bottom of the screen and choose iCloud Drive. You can either just move it to the iCloud Drive in general, or you could pick the specific folder that goes with the type of document or file you're trying to move. In this case, these were Keynote files. Then I would tap Copy. The files will then be moved into the iCloud Drive Keynote folder. This will help you when you're transferring devices or when you need to access your iCloud content through iCloud.com.